Sorry, there's no way to get up to the raptor pen until the new generator gets unpacked and built. You have to kickstart it with your stun rod. Don't try licking the ends of these things. I want tasers on full charge. Come on, who tore up the cage trap? I tell you, that raptor ain't budging until it gets fixed. So, do you know what we do if the raptor escapes? Yeah, well, Dune says to get up somewhere high so it can't reach you and only use our weapons as the last resort. Oh, so there's a proper plan. Huh. I was just gonna push you over the track. Away. Cage ladder's jammed. Somebody punch in the security code again, will ya? Good luck. I can't figure that panel out at all. Joffrey, raise the gate. Velociraptor? No, not Velociraptor. Maybe one of the other dig sites has turned up something. Oh. <gasps> huh? Ugh, a 
all I keep finding are old coins. What? What? Really? <gasps> That's amazing! Huh? How so? Well, until now, we had no idea that dinosaurs had any kind of culture, let alone a system of currency. Oh, I can feel it. There's a raptor right under here. Yep, I am bang on target. I just gotta keep digging for a couple of more minutes. Just a little further. Lost raptor? Yeah, it's good shape, too. I want partial credit for that thing. It's basically mine. Extinct by the time I get this thing out. Yeah. What, jackhammer? Oh, now we're talking. I promise I'll be careful. Uh, that might need some assembly. Forget to bring scissors. Remember, Dr. Settler and Grant want us to be especially careful when digging up this fossil. As I say, not as I do. Next time, I'm just bringing a sandblaster. Six inch retractable claw, like a razor, on the middle toe. Dr. Ellie, we're ready to try again. I hate computers. Feelings mutual. I give up. You give it a try. Uh, be careful. That rope's holding up, uh, some, you know, uh, oh, oh, what's it called? Delicate equipment. That's it. It was holding up a bunch of delicate equipment. Oh, uh, sorry.
Preserve Compsognathus thigh. Really? Uh, no. That's mine. I had chicken legs for lunch. Okay, I figured out what's wrong with it. It should have two wheels, not one. And handlebars. That's why you fell off of it, Dave. No handlebars. Stop it from leaning over and going around in circles all the time. <laughs> Great. Now it looks like the picture in the instructions. Shoot the radar into the ground and bone down the game track. This program is a plan. In four years, you won't have to dig anymore. This is not a map. That thing looks like a six-foot turkey.
Who do you think you are? Ah. <laughs> John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, I could get back on schedule. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. So you two, um, dig up, dig up dinosaur? <laughs> well, try to. <laughs> You'll have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a mathematician. Chaotician, chaotician, actually. Sirs, madam, welcome to Jurassic Park. You'll find a vehicle you can take to the visitor center on the road over there. Thank you for choosing Jurassic World. Feel free to take a transport to the main holiday complex. No, no, it's this way. Come back. We have excellent safety standards. Ah, oh, rats. You are our first customers. Changed your mind? Okay, that's your choice. Mind, there's plenty more fish in the sea. Get them from storage, not from one of the control panels.
Let's get something straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. I'll shut you down, John. <laughs> Foreman's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a hunt. This thing. The T-Rex is 32 miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm -hmm. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. You have a T-Rex. <laughs> Dr. Grant. My idea is after that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Those gates ain't moving until they install the gears and whatnots. Which is fine by me, because they've only got herbivores on this side of them. Been on the tour ride yet? Not had a chance, no. <laughs> oh man, it is great. Especially if you don't like goats. <laughs> they do have those creepy weird eyes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Most advanced amusement park in the entire world. No! <laughs> Why don't you all sit down? Just one drop of blood contains billions of strands of DNA, the building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito. And now we can make a baby dinosaur. Hey, Henry. Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That is it. So I'm kind of trying to attempt this. Uh, it's not possible. Listen, there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. They remember. All right, let's feed these overgrown lizards then. Come on, let's go. Bye. Uh. 
Well, these cages aren't going to be big enough. They barely fit a goat in them. better. Now we just add cap. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel? for a meal. Fresh beef, huh? Boy, those raptors eat better than I do. must operate the crane. My injuries are too severe. What are they doing? Feeding them. The essence of chaos. Isso 
be your transports for the afternoon? The driver. Oh, no, 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 no driver. And they're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the, the butterfly. A butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and Central Park. You get rain and stay essential. Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Alan? <sighs> Don't be scared. Come on. It's okay. She's sick. I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. Yes, uh, we know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? Pretty sure. <laughs>